tutorial, uh, if you notice, we're in Alpha 11.6. When you first start playing, when you get to this page, the first thing you should do if you're a newbie playing, or a new person, go over here, make sure this is on Survival SP. If you want, you can either do Random or do Nav Z Game. Either one is okay. Uh, random generation is unlimited, so you can run as far as you want, and you'll never run off the map. This one right here, uh, the Nav Easy Game, is limited in the fact that you can run to the edge and you will hit uh, radiation and you will die if you go into random generation is forever difficulty setting when you're first starting out you should click scavenger that's very beginning zombies are very basic uh, another thing is percentage of the night is 20 percent so you have basically 80 percent light 20 percent dark me, personally, I like the Romero zombies. I never run, but if you want, you can have them always run. Aggression, normal, persistence profile is on. Uh, the other thing I like doing is... Uh, where is it at? Uh, drop on death, it doesn't have it. Uh, there's one thing in here that says uh, drop on exit, and I put nothing or never. Uh, so anyway... That's how uh, I set up the game to start with. Then when you first start a game, you get in there, you're basically naked. Uh, what you need to do is immediately build an axe. And how you build an axe is you just basically feed on the ground around some grass. And eventually the grass should uh, break and you get a piece of uh, grass. Then what you need to do is you need to look around for a stick. And where you can find a stick is by one of these big bushes. So what you do is you beat on the bush and get yourself a stick. And once you got a stick, you need to look for a rock. And it looks like I was put somewhere where there's not a whole lot of rocks. But I'll look around anyway. I'll look down there. There's a deer. Uh, I might as well start beating to get some more sticks. Oh, it looks like there's a backpack down there. So of course I'm going to go down and look. But once again... Before we go down there, we still need to make our axe. And I need to find a rock. Rocks are little gray things that stick up. That is not a rock. So we go around looking. And eventually, I'm sure I will find one before, hopefully, I... Oh, there's one. So you go find your rock. Pick it up. Then what you do is you go over to the tools and you make a stone axe. What you have to do is put your stuff or your materials in the thing to craft it. So all of a sudden I now have a stone axe. The next thing that's important to do is you need to make a bow. Very important, like in a bow and arrow. So you need to break up some of these plants to get some more uh, maybe get some more plant fibers and once again you need to beat up on some more uh, little tree things to get some sticks if you want to you can go and start smacking on a tree uh, but your axe will break before you get to actually uh, getting anything because you uh, in this game your weapons and everything degrade over time so if you don't want it to degrade super fast, you need to watch what you're doing. If you look down below in the corner there, where it says number one, you can see my axe getting worse and worse as I beat on this tree. However, I should get something pretty decent if it breaks, and I got a wood log. Wood logs can do really nice things. But once again, you need to be careful with your tools. Okay, I need to find another stone. That's amazing that there's not a lot of rocks around here. Normally that you can't uh, get rid of them. Or can't find them. Not find them, they're easy to get. Okay, here's a bunch. So I go pick up stones. Uh, one of the other things you want to pick up the stones for is because you need them to make arrows. And arrows are what's going to help you in this game. So, 
Right now we go over here and we can make ourselves a wooden bow. So we follow the instructions, make ourselves a wooden bow. And craft it. So once we got the bow crafted, we don't have any arrows yet, but you can still slot it. And then we want to make our axe good again. So how you repair it is you put the rock up here, put the axe right there, and hit craft. And your axe is back to being good again. Okay, we go over here. We want to pick up all the rocks we find. Hopefully we'll be able to find uh, some feathers. Every feather you find, you can make five arrows with. So, we'll just keep looking. You don't really want to encounter any zombies at this point, because if you do, you're pretty much helpless. That is not good. So, right over here, like I said, there was a backpack, so we cross our fingers. And when you find it, click E, unlocks it, and okay, we found some jeans, and we found a... Uh, pretty nice little club. So, go to your character, put the jeans on, uh, put the club down here, and if we run into a zombie we can smack it a couple times. Uh, you should not be encountering zombies right off the bat though in this game. If you see one, do not go fight it. Uh, they can cause disease, they can do other things to you that will make it so you basically die right off the bat. You don't want to die right off the bat. I know I've been up here before, so I thought I saw some cotton. Cotton's kind of important in this game too, because with cotton you can make cloth. You make cloth, uh, with the cloth you can make uh, bandages. So, those are important as well. So anyway, got to be careful when you're running around as well, because you could fall and break your limbs. You don't want to break your limbs, that's always bad. Uh, your speed slows down, and a couple other things slow down. So anyway, I'm finding a couple more rocks. Oh, there's corn over there too. If you look over there, there's a piece of corn. So I'm going to go collect those as well. Everything you can possibly collect when you first start the game, you should be doing it. So we go over there. Oh, lots of this. Lots of cotton. This stuff right here is important as well for later on in the game, so you should be collecting it as well. Corn is important to grow later on in the game. You don't want to eat it right off the bat. If you look up at the time, it's 8.50. I've still got plenty of time to find a place where I can spend the night. Excuse me. And I still need to find some feathers. So I'm picking up all the cotton, all the goldenrod. Uh, what uh, nests or feathers are is you look for nests. So once you find a nest, that's where some uh, stuff should be. Uh, you can kill the deers later on in the game, but you don't want to necessarily do it right off the bat because that would be bad for you. Oh, over here is something else you're going to need. If you look right here at the different color, this should be hopefully clay. If I could get it. Clay will help you uh, build things later on in the game. So you just beat it until it uh, comes out. Maybe. Once I've started, I don't usually quit, so we'll see how long it takes for us to do this. A lot longer than I thought it was going to take. And I need to refix my axe because it is damaged. So we just go craft it again. And keep feeding. In the beginning, it's kind of difficult to do this stuff, but you have to do it. And it doesn't look like this is going to work for me. So what I am going to do is just stop. There's clay all over the place. I thought it'd be easy just to pick it up. Here's some more rocks. Pick the rocks up. Rock, rock. 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 Pick up all the rocks you can possibly pick up. 
up there there's some looks like another backpack or something so we go run up here again with bits of rock uh, you should also be looking for uh, towns off in the distance if I look down here there's some more golden flower more rocks more cotton so we go over here oh there's a rabbit you can attack oh there's a zombie we'll try to go smack the zombie down hopefully I won't get killed but I do have this thing right here iron club hopefully I can go over there and I can smack it once you shouldn't be doing this this early in the game but I've done this before uh, so basically what you do you go up to the zombie and you smack it and back up smack it back up smack it and it should be dead do not engage him head on okay, that's good too. There's another one up there. I'm not going to go attack it though. I have no wish to attack it. If it comes after me, I will, of course, defend myself, but I'm not going to go looking for a zombie to attack right now. And he hasn't seen me yet, so that's good. So, okay, this is what a nest looks like. So I'm searching the nest, and of course, there's nothing in it. But anyway, that's what a nest looked like. That's what you're trying to find feathers in. So, if you look at the clock, it's 921. I've been in the game for an hour and a half. And still haven't found any feathers, but the zombies have been leaving me alone so far, which is always good. And I found some corn, which is always good. Then I go over here, uh, search everything you can find. Pick up this stuff. I just pick up everything at the beginning. Because you never know when it might be useful. Uh, rock, 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 rock. Rabbits. More rocks. It's the first time I've played that I haven't been able to find at least one nest that had a couple uh, things in it, a couple feathers in it. So we'll keep looking. Hopefully, find something. And pick up some more cotton. The reason you pick up cotton is you can make armor with it. So what you do is you put it in like this. And you click craft. And you get more cloth. And then you go down to where it says clothing. And I want uh, chest armor. So I go on, put this stuff in. And click craft. Five seconds from now, I'll get some chest armor. Take it to my character. Now I have armor. Still looking around for some flower or some uh, bird nest. If you want to, if you hit the shift key, that allows you to run. Uh, if you look at the little blue thing down in the corner, it goes down though. So you have to be careful when you're doing it so you don't run out of energy. Because if you run across a zombie when you're out of energy, it could catch you and start beating on you, and you don't necessarily want that this early in the game. So, I am going to run over to the other side and see if I can't find something over there. If you look over there, that's a different uh, zone, and they have different things over in that area. So, I'm going to go look over there real quick. But anyway, I'm going to stop right here right now. This is the end of part one. I will be back in a minute with part two, and we will continue our tutorial for your first day of life in Zombieland. Uh, this is part two of how to survive the first day in Seven Days to Die. If you look at the time, it's 948. I've still got plenty of time before night comes and I have problems. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I run over here, and I really don't like this area, but it's got a lot of stuff that you can get right off the bat. So I look in these places and see what I can find. See, like right here is a cloth helmet. So I don't have to make it. I can just pop it on my head. So there's a cost and a cost benefit of coming over here and checking out, but you get a few more zombies that are in here. So I make it really quick getting in and out. Because once again, I'm still looking for feathers. 
so look on the ground, see what you can find. And I'm not finding feathers here either. So let me run over to the other side, see what's over here. There's some trash, there's feathers in the trash. And there's a can. I'll take the can. Now there's a bee over there, you don't want to mess with them. So he should drop some honey. Honey's actually pretty good stuff. Uh, if you look at my hunger, if you take the honey and you eat it, and what you do is you put it in the thing and right click on it, and then you eat it, your stats will go up a little bit, which is pretty good. So we don't want to be over here because there's bees over here, and I'm not ready to fight bees yet. So I'm going to search one more area, then go back to the other area. I'm just not quite ready to fight over here. Bullet casings, which is good because bullet casings are necessary later on in the game. Let's see if I see anything else. I still don't see any feathers, so I'm going to go back on the other side of the bridge. Like I said, this part is uh, a little bit much at the moment, and I don't want to deal with it. So we're back in the happy place. And I'm just going to start following the road. See what I could find. Another can of trash, or another bag of trash. Pick the trash up. And I got a feather. So, what I do with the feather is I want to make an arrow. So we go over here and say, okay, arrow. How do I make it? That's how I make it. So I put my feather there, my stick there, and I get five. So once I get my five arrows, I place them back over here, I arm my bow, and you have to click R on the keyboard. Once you click R on the keyboard, you get your uh, bow loaded. I'm going to run over here for a little bit, see if there's anything over here. There's a pig, which you can kill later on, but I'm not going to kill a pig at the moment because I don't have the ability to keep it. So here's another nest. Search it two more feathers so we go over here and I found out a really cool thing if you press it again it'll make you more arrows well you have to have the materials but you don't have to keep putting them in one at a time so I now have 15 arrows which is pretty good so what I'm gonna do is run over here see the trash pick up the trash I really don't need glass right now Glasses for use later on when you make your house. Continue running around, see if I can see anything else. There should be some more stuff right there. There's another bird's nest. So we search the bird nest, get eight more arrows. Right over there is a zombie. So this is how you do on your mouse. You push your mouse and you aim with the right and you uh, pull the trigger back with the left, get her in sight, and shoot. If you hit it, you'll see it. So we go again, aim on her, shoot. This way you don't get close to her and you don't have to worry about getting hit or diseased. Getting diseased is bad, so that's good. I also got a pill. I'm gonna make some more arrows. So I now have eight feathers. So I go up here and I'm gonna make 30 arrows. I can make more after that, but 30 is good for right now. Let's go over here, look and see if there's anything over here. I saw a little nest over here, so we're going to go get some more arrows, or more feathers, hopefully. Oh, there's some more corn. So we search the bird's nest. We got an egg this time. Go over here, pick the cotton. Pick the corn. Pick the cotton. Corn. You can pick the golden rod if you want as well. Because once again, it's useful to have for uh, making tea. Go pick the cotton. Uh, I see the zombie over there, but I'm just going to ignore it. Uh, there's one I'm not going to be able to ignore, though, so. 
that right there. I see him. He sees me, probably. Oh, here's a backpack. Let's go. Or no, that's a rock. Look like a backpack, but it's a rock. So let's go to where that zombie is. I know I saw him. He's right there. If you're lucky enough and you aim for the head and you hit, it's a one-shot kill. So we go search him. Let's see what we get. Nothing. So we go out to the road. Or I'm going back to the road. Follow the road, you run into a city. Uh, you want to get to the city as soon as you possibly can, or some place that has a city as fast as you can. Okay. Once again, pick up whatever cotton you want or whatever you want. Now, I don't suggest that anyone does this as a new player, but if you want to take a shot at a rabbit to see if you can hit it or to get it, that's always an option. Because if you get meat, which comes off the pigs, the rabbits, and the deer, uh, the zombies can sense you. And you don't want zombies sensing you early on in the game. I just don't care at the moment because I play for a little while and I can deal with them. But you don't necessarily want to do it. Oh, there's another one. See if maybe I get lucky and hit his head. Aim. Fire. And I missed totally. Uh, these guys are the ones that I really don't like because they can sneak up on you. And not real you won't realize it. And if you look down at it, this is called a crawler. Okay, so there's another one around here because I could hear it. I don't necessarily know where it is. Oh, wow. There's a whole bunch of zombies coming after me. Uh, so at this case, what you do is you just start shooting. Once again, you don't want to melee these things right now because you do not have the ability. And you just don't want to do it. Plus, shooting them from far away is a lot easier than getting up close anyway. Got some more corn. Corn is very useful later on in the game, so anytime you can get it to help you out early or help you out, take it. I look at my clock, it's 10.55. So I go up top again, search the trash. I always search everything. And I get some more cloth, which is good. So we're going to run off in this direction for a little bit and uh, see if we can find a town. Uh, here's some more bird's nests. A couple more feathers. Uh, okay. Uh, now, we go back to the log. One thing that's really useful about logs is they make wood. Uh, wood planks. With the wood planks, you can make wood sticks. Okay, here's a really big baddie. These guys are the hard ones to kill. It's going to take three or four shots to kill it, unless I hit it in the head. And even then, it's not a sure thing. Uh, for some reason, there's a lot of zombies out here right now, and I have no idea why. Uh, you don't want to actively engage these things right now, as I keep telling you, because you will die. So I'm just going to take off up the road, and hopefully they will forget I'm here, because there are a bunch of them. Okay, always keep count on how many arrows you have. I have 32 at the moment. I'm going to have more, because I'm going to build. We're deciding which way to go, and uh, if you want to look at a map, click M on the keyboard, and it brings up a map. I don't... I haven't been this way before, so that's the way I'm going to go ahead. Follow the pigs. There's a lot of pigs. Okay, we have another zombie up here. Once again, I don't want to have to touch it if I don't have to. So basically what I'm going to do is shoot him. Take the two shots. Kill him and move forward. It looks like I have a town ahead of me. So, I am going to take care of these guys, and I'm going to go investigate the town. Now, I just got something kind of cool. I'm going to go check and see if this is actually good. Uh, if you look at what I got, it's called a schematic. 
and schematics are special. So, I look at this, and it says Iron Helmet. Oh, shoot. I should have been paying attention. But I wasn't, so we get the Iron Club. And we start beating on her. Forward, back up. Uh, you always have to be paying attention to your surroundings, otherwise you can have happen what just happened to me. And that isn't good, because I got really lucky. Uh, while I was hurt, I did not get infected with anything. So... If you want to heal yourself, find your bandage, and you click it, and you can heal yourself. The other thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to drink something right now, so I get my water and drink it. If you look at the side there, it goes up. And I'm also going to eat my chili. So I eat my chili, and my hunger goes down, too. If you look it down over there, though, if you eat canned food, you get thirsty. So, that's one thing you're going to have to pay attention to. So any anyway pay attention to. So anyway, I got something special. How to make an iron helmet. So later on in the game, I'll be able to make iron helmets. But right now, I uh, can't do that, so we're just still searching. And I'm going to go into this area. And what you want to do before you really search for anything is try to clear it out of anything you can, any zombies you find. So, there's one right there. going to aim at it. Take a shot. Hit it take another shot you should be dead I'm not even gonna look at any of the areas yet until I get rid of as many zombies as I possibly can and the reason for that is I don't want them sneaking up on me so always look around uh, there's one over there he's coming towards me there's another one that's coming towards me I still have 34 arrows so I'm pretty good arrow wise Okay, there's more than one coming at me. So. I'm going to look in here real quick, see if I can find some feathers. Which I did. So I'm going to miss. Start shooting them. Look around, make sure there's nothing sneaking up on me still. Uh, this is a first person game, so you cannot go into third person. Which sometimes is good, sometimes is bad. And I haven't even had to do this when I first started the game in a while. Uh, so meanwhile, I got 30 seconds to uh, search these guys before they go rotten. If you look over there, the ones over there are ones that are rotted. So I searched this guy, found some feathers so I can make some more arrows. Uh, there's a guy in back of me because I watched him go around the base, or around the house. So I'm going to go over there, take an aim at him, fire, and miss. Fire. Oh, that was one shot hit. I hit him in the head. Uh, that's what you try to do. Doesn't always work, but sometimes I get lucky. Okay, there's a guy over there. I don't think I can hit him through the window. Interesting. So, uh, we want to go make some more arrows. Uh, this time we can actually use a bone to do it. Oh, there goes... Uh, if you look at that airplane, it drops things. Now, I could go run over there. It's 12 o'clock, I could go run over there. And we're going to see what see if we can find out what dropped. Uh, sometimes they drop really useful items, so it's one of those things that if you get a chance to go after it, go get it. And it doesn't look like it's that far away. So start running directly towards it. Try to remember exactly where it's at. You don't have to pay attention to the zombies at this point because if you're running by them, they will not be able to catch you. Uh, they'll be kind of ticked at you, but they won't be able to get you. Okay, keep running. Be mindful where you're running, though, because you do not want to fall off a cliff. If you fall off a cliff, it could have negative effects on you. And you don't want negative effects. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Uh, yeah, there are zombies everywhere, so you just have to be mindful of where you're going. 
and you will eventually get low on energy but that's okay you can just keep following uh, you walk faster than zombies crawl so then you start running again come over to a lake here's a backpack search it found a can of food on lakes what you can do is you can uh, just swim across them if again if you look over to the right right there that's clay always try to get clay if you can get it but once again I'm not worried about clay right now I'm still worried about getting over to that box and it looks like I'm gonna have to go this way oh, as my person said a house. More feathers, I'll be able to make more arrows. Way I could run around the side of this thing. Or at least find the side of it. Okay, found the side of it. Again, for the bird nest, find the feathers. Uh, feathers are also useful later on when you are looking for, or when you're going to make a crossbow. Uh, because you use feathers to make holes. And I may have lost the box. I do not know where the box is. But I'm going to look for it anyway, I never know. And what I'm looking for is actually a box. It's 1230, so I'm still safe that way. Go search him. I really don't need glass, but I'll take it anyway. Again, we're going to keep looking for the box. It should be around here somewhere. back and grab this stuff in a little bit. Uh, one thing about these things, some of the airdrops, is they are persistent. They do not disappear. So even if I can't find it right now, it will be here later on. And a cheerleader. They are pains. But she is now dead. Okay, no box. So it does look like I misplaced the box. There is a crawler. He's going to come back after me. Oh, there's a cheerleader. I'm down to 11 arrows, so I need to be careful. Always, once again, search around you. And I need more rocks. So, pick them up. Continue looking for my box. But I'm going to make some arrows real quick. So I'm going to make some more sticks with my wood. I think it's going to be a lost cause at the moment. 
Uh, they can drift off. We can do a whole lot of things. And while I'm looking for this box, I'm not getting ready for night. here that I'm going to go and check out. Who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and find the box. So, on that note, this is going to be the end of part three. Take out the woman right here. And with her death, I will thank you for watching the first day on your own. Uh, I've had an amazing amount of zombies to kill, so this is kind of unusual. Normally, you won't have that many. Uh, so, we're going to go back to that house, and I'm going to hook it up in there and show you what you need to do in order to basically survive your first night. I never did find the box. Could have made my life a lot easier, but no box. around yourself because it's first person and they will sneak up on you. Uh, normally you can hear them coming but I did not hear them for some reason. They could have just spawned. Uh, the zombies do just appear out of nowhere uh, on occasion. Which could have once again a negative consequence on you. So we gotta keep making our arrows. Picking up rocks, making sticks. Uh, where's my stick maker? We'll get rid of what we don't need. We don't need that. We don't really need nails right now. Continue on. Death to the zombies. Okay. I just cannot hit their hits. No matter how hard I try, I cannot hit their hits. I'm gonna search them. So we'll continue our run back to where we came from. Hoping that vain hope to find that box. Somehow 
Haben Sie hier was? Okay, there is a zombie around here somewhere. I'll take a shot at his head, hit him in the gut. Take a shot at his head, hit him in the gut. Uh, this takes a lot of practice. But just practice as much as you can and... Well, flashlight, that's always good. And you will eventually be able to get headshots quite often. And it looks like I'm getting hungry, so that's not good. Uh, another place you can always look, stumps. Always stuff in stumps. So there's two cups of water, or two glasses of water. So I will not die of dehydration, which you can. You can also starve to death, which I have to be careful because I may starve to death, which would not be good. So, crafting my arrows because I forgot to do it, running back towards that place I saw. on the map where that house was. There was a house right there. So we're going to go run over towards it, see if we can't clear it. If you look down there, there are a whole lot of zombies down there. So this is going to be a fairly large battle. But it's doable. There are a bunch of zombies over there. So we're going to start by killing as many as we could possibly kill. I have not ever seen a mini horde like this on my first day, so that's interesting. So you just keep shooting. Once again, turn around every so often to make sure that nothing's in back of you. And just keep hitting. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll hit someone in the head. Do not know. This is easy. I am not on hard. This is on easy. Oh. Okay, I failed to do my first thing. Oh, it's a crawler. Like I said, I hate crawlers. Because they hide from you. The thing I try to do is I always try to uh, check the fat ones because they usually have some interesting stuff on them. And as you noticed, I'm almost out of arrows, so I have to be careful. If you look at this thing right here, that's where uh, they die, they become these blobs, and they can fall over them. They can come and get you. So, uh, they don't usually do anything early on in the game, but later on in the game they become a pain. So anyway, that was basically my first board in this game. Uh, that house should be hopefully clear by now. If it's not, I'll finish killing the other ones. Well, I got 49 arrows left, which is always good too. So now we'll go check out the house. Because, A, we have beat it now. Go upstairs. Door's locked. Go downstairs, and there is no door. Now we can make a door. How you make a door is once again we have our wood. We go up top where it says wooden door. Secure wooden door, and we need eight pieces of wood, so we're going to have to go out and 
chop a tree. So. Another thing you can do is when you start getting full of stuff, you can combine some things. So that gave me 13 scrap brasses. If you notice it, it opened up my area a little bit. You can do this with lead. Cans will give you scrap iron. This will give you scrap iron. So I can go ahead and get my axe out. Find a little tree. Or I can go after a big one. I'm not going after a big one. I'll just go after a little one. After I kill myself. I don't like having anything around me. Stopping it. Just watch your axe. Watch your axe when it gets a little broke. Also got a uh, seedling. Uh, I like being uh, responsible, so whenever I get a maple seed or a seedling, I just replant it. Click the right button, and you can plant. Now we go back up top, take our two logs, make them into planks. Over here, we're going to make ourselves a scrap wood door. Run over here, run up into here, and you can set the door right in the frame. And you take your axe if you want to make it more secure. Right click on it a couple times, you make it more secure, more secure. Then you can start looking for food. With any luck, we'll find something. So there's a can of food. There's an empty bottle. Nothing. A can. Bottles. Nothing. Can't see. Look over here. This is a forge. You can put things in there and make things. I don't have the ability to do that right now, but eventually I will. Refrigerator has venison in it. Now, if you look at the thing, it says you are carrying something that smells and attracts zombies. I just want to eat it. Once you eat it, it goes away. up the TV because we really don't care. Doors locked, even though it's locked, we can still uh, we can protect it or make it so it's better. We don't want anybody sneaking in on us at night. There's a bed, unfortunately we can't use the bed. There's a wooden desk, search it, find ourselves a book. Okay, thank you for coming back. This is the final thing that you're going to need to do in order to survive your first night. 
Uh, what you do is you need to make a sleeping bag. If you can find a bed, that's better, but a sleeping bag will work just fine. And how you do that is you click on it in the building thing. You need six pieces of cloth, and you build a sleeping bag. Then you just drop it wherever you want to have put your uh, place. And now whenever I die, I'm going to pop right back here until I decide to find another place. And I will probably do that tomorrow. So, in the end game, what you need to do is you need to get to a house or get to some place where you think it's safe. Drop a sleeping bag there and you'll be able to survive your first night. So anyway, thank you for uh, watching my tutorial on how to survive your first night in DayZ. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment or whatever, and I will do whatever I can do to help you play the game. It is a lot of fun, but it does take a little bit of effort to do what you need to do. Anyway, you guys have fun. Talk to you later.